So to install a mod from the workshop, we first need to download a mod from the workshop. I'll be using the Backboard Craft Pack mod for this tutorial. It will replace the Crash Mechanic Backpack with a CraftBot Backpack. Make sure to read the mod description as it usually contains install instructions and info on the mod. Try to figure out if the mod works with the latest game version or test your luck. Once the mod has been downloaded, open File Explorer, go to This PC, then System C, Program Files x86, look for the Steam folder, then Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, then you need to find the 387990 folder, which is the ID for Scrap Mechanic. Sort the folders by date modified, so the latest mod you downloaded is at the top. Open the folder, and in this case we have a zip, which we can right click on and then click extract all. Click on extract. Once the process is completed, we have a backboard craft pack folder here. Once we open it, we have a data and survival folder, which contain files that we need to replace. To access the files of Scrap Mechanic, click on Scrap Mechanic. Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and this will open the Scrap Mechanic folder. Now we just need to copy the files per drag and drop, and click Replace the files in the destination. Once it's done, we can launch Scrap Mechanic. If we select the Crash Mechanic Backpack, we can see that we have a little CraftBot Backpack now, so the mod was installed successfully. This works for 80% of all mods. If you download mods from other sources, such as the Scrap Mechanic Mods website, you should find all the files you need in your download folder. But sometimes you need to do a little bit more than just copy-pasting files. We can install this mod with a simple override, or with manual install instructions. These manual install instructions require us to modify some of the game files. For this I recommend downloading Notepad++, which is a free code editor. If we then want to edit a file, such as survivalgame.lua, which is located under Survival Scripts Game, and right click on it, we can select Edit with Notepad++. Then we could, for example, change line 100, if g underscore survival dev then, to if true then, and remember to save the document which now should enable dev mode. Since you'll be mostly replacing game files, you cannot install two mods which change the same game files. That's why you sometimes find compatibility fixes in the mod folder. Therefore, if you want to play with lots of mods, you should be looking for a mod pack. But what if you want to uninstall a mod? For that, you need to right click on Scrap Mechanic, Properties, Local Files, and click Verify Integrity of Game Files. Once the process is done, it will replace all game files with the original game files. You will keep your save files. But before you start playing around with mods, it's strongly recommended to backup your worlds first. For that, press Windows R. This should open this run window. Type in percent appdata percent. Click OK. Then look for the Exolot Games folder. Scrap Mechanic. User. And the folder with your user ID. Your worlds are saved in safe. Here you will find all your creative worlds. Your survival worlds are in the survival folder. Simply select the world you want to back up or even the entire folder. Copy it. And paste it somewhere. This doesn't have to be in the same folder, you could simply drag this to your desktop. I hope this should get you started with mods and scrap mechanic. If you want to see some cool mods for Scrap Mechanic, I've just made a top 10 survival mods video, and if you liked the video, consider hitting that subscribe button.